The Spice Mass Cooperation in collaboration with the Grenada Cultural Foundation on October 5th held a stakeholders consultation with varying parties involved in Spice Mass. The overall objective was to hear from the key contributors what works and what needs attention in, in improving the overall product. Over 60 stakeholders from Mass, Pan, Calypso, Soka, Promotions and Administration participated in the session, which was held at the Grenada Trade Center Annex. On November 9th, stakeholders came together once more, this time at the Spice Basket Gazebo, where Mr. Colin Dow presented a review of the various rapporteurs' reports as presented to him and condensed the same into a document. From the rapporteurs' report, Dow says that there were some common refrains. The need for transparency in the operations of the SMC. The lack of understanding sometimes in terms of why decisions are made, how decisions are made. But this theme of transparency came up over and over again. Effective communications. That was mentioned again by all stakeholder groups. The need to have timely and effective communications from the SMC. Inclusiveness. It obviously said to me that the various stakeholders felt that they were issued edicts as opposed to being collaborators in the delivery of spice mass. Fair remuneration, no surprise. All right, I don't believe any of us ever think that we're getting paid enough. Um, some of us, we enjoy what we do, so we really don't care about pay. But in general, um, you know, none of us probably believe that we're getting paid enough. But, but the idea is fair remuneration and certainly an understanding of what that remuneration means. And for one to embrace the fact that it is fair within the circumstances currently present by the SMC. Senator the Honorable Adrian Thomas, Minister for Tourism, Creative Economy and Culture, attended the review presentation and made remarks following Mr. Dow's presentation. Senator Thomas says from the information shared, one thing is clear that an economic assessment of the country's largest festivity is urgently needed. Said, well, earlier this year, before the country, I said to the chairman, I want to know how much millions of dollars that Canada is responsible for at the next year. And we need a economic assessment. I spoke to him last week about it and told him he's working on it. Well, uh, he's not here this morning, but we'll have that discussion again. We'll leave it as early as possible. Another important observation from the presentation, he says, is that Carnival needs more money invested into the overall production. However, supporting documents must be forthcoming if he's to engage his cabinet colleagues for support. I can't lose a lot when I saw you, but we don't have the figure, the data. In this day and age, you must have data to substantiate the PLC. So we need that. I was a little bit disappointed in the presentation because I know Mr. Dow maybe have mentioned it, but I don't think enough details was given on it in your PowerPoint presentation. I want more of them because I wanted that discussion to take place here. We need as a people to list, list and publicly public must know who are the real beneficiaries of Canada, who make the real money because the information is there. When peak sales on certain products should have been removed. How many rooms and how many businesses involved in the hotel are in? How much money they make? We need to know that. And we also need to know if you are making a lot of money, are you contributing to the product? And that brings me to the very important point. What is the cost of choosing a candle? Spice Mass 2025. What will be the cost of that for production costs? During the session, key areas were presented. The final report will be presented to the GCF chairman on November 18, 2024, after which it will be presented to cabinet and shared with stakeholders.